Hello students, welcome to Kasam Academy. So upon the request, I have started to take classes about pesticide dosage calculation. So we got a request to take classes on this uh, topic. So in the previous video, I have explained how to calculate the amount of pesticide required to spray in one acre or one hectare of the land. So I have told in the previous video that three important things. One is active ingredient dosage. Second thing is chemical strength and the third thing is required amount of chemical to spray. If we know the values of any two, we can calculate the third. So in this video, I am going to explain you the amount of pesticide required to spray in the former field area. That is the prescribed formal field area. Any farmer will not have one acre completely or one hectare completely. He may have half acre or uh, 2.5 acres, uh, 2.5 hectares. So in the prescribed farmer field area, how much of the pesticide required to spray, we are going to see today. So for this, you need to remember the two important formulae. And so in order to calculate the amount of formulation needed to spray in the farmer's field, and if we know the amount of dosage which is required to spray for one hectare of the land we can calculate uh, the pesticide dosage required in the former field by using this formula amount of formulation needed per hectare into former field area we need to take it in the meter square square meters divided by 10,000 why we are dividing it with 10,000 means 10,000 meter squares is equal to one hectare so that's why we are dividing it into divided by 10,000. So we will solve a problem by using this formula. So here you can see the question how much of delta methrin 2.5% wettable powder that is the strength of the delta methrin needed to apply uh, at the rate of 120 kg per hectare land area on a farmer field measuring 35 meters into 40 meters. So in this question, we came to know the chemical strength is 2.5% that is a wettable powder and it should be applied the dosage, the dosage of the chemical is 120 kg per hectare. That means per one hectare, 120 kg of this delta methrin needed to be applied in order to kill the pest that is the dosage. Now we need to calculate how much of this delta methrin needed to be applied for a former field area. What is the former field area? 35 meters into 40 meters. This is the area. So by applying these values in the formula, you can see. So what is the amount of formulation needed per hectare? That is 120 kg into former field area. Former field area is 35 into 40 so we need to multiply so by multiplying what we will get 1400 divided by 10,000 so you can cancel this 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 and so 1.2 into 14 so 1.2 into 14 is nothing but 16.8 kg so for one hectare we need to apply delta delta methrin 2.5 wp is 120 kg and in the former field the same delta methrin 2.5 wp we are applying in the former field of 35 meters into 40 meters area is 16.8 kg for one hectare it is 120 kg and for this former field area which is 1400 square meters it is 16.8 kg so this is the uh, one type of calculation and the second thing if we know the formulation amount of formulation needed per acres if the we know the amount of formulation needed per acre we need to take the former field in the form of square feet so here is the another calculation so Question, how much of profenophos 50% EC strength is needed to apply 800 ml per acre on a field measuring of 100 feet into 90 feet? So, here they have given the insecticide dosage, what it is? The 50% EC, emulsifiable concentrate of profenophos. The dosage per 1 acre is 800 ml. 
So for one acre, fifty percent EC of propanofos, we need to apply eight hundred ml in order to kill the pest. So how much of propanofos is needed in a former field area of hundred feet into ninety feet? So we need to apply these things in the formula. Here we are dividing it with forty-four thousand. Why means one acre is forty-four thousand feet. Square feet. So that's why we are multi dividing it with forty-four thousand. So we will apply these values in the formula. So amount of formulation needed per acre here they have given eight hundred ml into and what is the former field area? Hundred feet into ninety feet. That is nine thousand square feet divided by forty-four thousand. So eight hundred. Into nine thousand divided by forty-four thousand. So three zeros, three zeros, and divided by forty-four, it is one sixty-three. So one sixty-three liters. Sorry, one sixty-three ml of uh, propanofos. 50 ec needed to be applied for the former field of 100 feet into 90 feet area so so by this video we can calculate amount of formulation needed to be applied in the prescribed former field area i hope you understood this class and for more if you want uh, videos on any other uh, topic which is difficult you can just comment in the comment section so that i will try to explain the topics and for if you like please subscribe to our channel thank you